My name is Judd. My name is Rich. And this is Comic Strip AP of Sorcerer, featuring the urban saga of Percival Louder. And when we last saw Percival, he had uncovered some new powers for his new demon, uh, one Vanderbilt. His new demon had sent him a nice car to pick him up. Indeed. And there were, I don't know what to call them, simulcrum, simulcra, of the folks who he sacrificed to the demon. It was the the thuggish guy with the walrus mustache, who's now his chauffeur. We can call him the chauffeur. And his secretary, who is the uh, late sorcerer, who he has decided to name Clarissa. Is that right? Yeah. I like the chauffeur. And Don't what you remember? The, that's exactly what I remember. Yeah. You must be the new, uh, the new Vanderbilt binder. Congratulations. I'm Dumas. Dumas. My name is Percival. Percival Louder. Oh, the Louders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've heard of your family. I think I, I think I met your mother at a binding years ago. Hmm. Yeah, I seem to remember that. Am I right? Your mother, uh, your mother deals in real estate? She does. She taught me a great deal. Everything All right. that I knew up to a point came from my parents, but I've come a bit from there, as you know. When it's a family tradition, it's just different. I came up trying to figure it out by my bootstraps, and it's just not the same. When it's a family tradition, there's just something stronger about it. I tried to pass it on to my kids, but they just don't have the stomach for it, you know? Hmm. How many kids do you have? Seven. <laughs> wow. Yes. Any grandchildren? No offense. Uh, yes. Yes, a few. I am a grandfather. Good. Actually. Good. It's like, it's like I've summoned demons that have had demons of their own, really. <laughs> well, I don't have any children yet, but I hope that I can continue the legacy with them. Well done. The others are going to be late, but, uh, let's sit. Why don't we, uh, have a drink? And, like, the waiter comes and says, uh, what can I get for you, Mr. Louder? Um, I should believe it would be nice. And I think Dumas asks for something crazy. Like, he, he just asks for some kind of whiskey that I don't know enough about whiskey to know about because I Judd doesn't give a shit about whiskey. I don't <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm like, sure somebody, somebody <laughs> will come in on this yeah. episode to tell us what awesome whiskey that is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Please tell me what whiskey he did. But like he orders a whiskey that like if you knew about whiskey, you'd be like, this guy is a dick to ask for that. Like no one would have that on stock. <laughs> and like the waiter, the waiter doesn't blink. And he says, of course, sir. And like he comes back and says, it's going to be a little bit of a wait on that. I apologize so much. And he says, that's to be expected. And uh, 15 minutes later, you both get your drinks. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's just like kind of tells you stories about his grandkids a little bit. And then when the drinks come, he says, uh, to one Vanderbilt. I hold up my drink and to one Vanderbilt. And then you, you clink glasses and he says, uh, so what now, Mr. Louder? What now indeed, Mr. Duma? I had my eyes on one Vanderbilt. We know. Ah, he did. Well, I was evidently seen as a threat, and that did not dissuade me. Do you see me as a threat now, Mr. Dumas? I'm sorry, when you say we saw you as a threat, I'm afraid I'm not really following. I understand that you are part of a coven. There are two other members and a fourth who is no longer with us. A coven? That's adorable. Yes. We call it a cooperative, but yes. Very well. A cooperative. The provincial term is coven. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I still, I don't understand uh, the, the, the threat thing. I'm not, I'm not following. The fourth member of your cooperative, a woman. Ah. She paid someone to steal from me and the other members of my cooperative. Okay. Well, it seems that the youngest member of our cooperative, uh, who is not a founding member, nor was she 
nor did she have a building of real significance as of yet. Uh, acted rashly, and she seemed to have antagonized your coven. Is everyone all right? They will heal. All right. All right. Good. Good. I'm glad everyone's... I'm glad it's not tipped over the edge. That can get ugly. It can. And I came here worried that it may already be over the edge. I feel more comfortable now that we are talking that you, Mm -hmm. being a grandfather, (laughs) are smart enough to know I have one Vanderbilt. There is no reason for further pursuit of that prize. Very well. He, like, touches his breast pocket, and he says, if you'll excuse me for one moment. Okay. And uh, his his phone was, like, vibrating. And uh, he, he looks at it and says, my compatriots won't be joining me tonight. I'm sorry. They're all very busy, and this was a bit last minute. I apologize. It's just going to be us. Shall we start dinner? Well, we can start dinner. I, I do have to say I'm a little disappointed that the rest of your cooperative did not see fit to meet me. But I am glad you're here. Very well. Like, dinner begins, and they just start... They don't take orders. They just start bringing you food. And it's all ridiculously perfect. They explain what it all is, and I don't know how how ritzy a background did Percival come from. Like, does he does he know what, like, all these snooty... No. Yeah? Okay. I, he, I imagine that he was raised in... A manor house in the south, right? Homeschooled, right? Um, that they had money, yep, but they were not within a society. Interesting. Sounds good. Dumas says so. The youngest member. Should we discuss her return? She will not be returning. Ah, you may see her, but she is not with us any longer. Hmm. Vanderbilt has seen fit to repurpose her. Oh, is that one of Vanderbilt's capabilities? Interesting. We didn't know. Very well. And I think th- this is getting towards the end of the meal, and you're having uh, either like a sweet dessert wine or uh, some kind of sherry, mm-hmm. and he takes a sip of it and, and a little bit of sherbet and says... Uh, Mr. Louder, we are very interested in offering you a position of our co-op. Uh, what you've done has, sh- with the binding of this mu- of, of this building, and quite frankly, your family pedigree shows us that you have an amazing ability. But we want to see you hold it. So, if you'll forgive us, we're going to sit back and we're going to watch. I apologize sincerely for any violence done to your friends that was not our intent I can accept that I am interested in the collective of stature my parents of course told me how valuable that can be very well and you should know that Frederick Johansson does not know his place he has been a pawn of our former colleague for some time and has been feeding her information on all of you for a while. And that's probably how she knew you had designs on one Vanderbilt. And that might be how she learned about it in the first place. Hmm. And of course, how you deal with that will be something that that we are watching. I understand. Good, good. Thank you very much for meeting with me, Mr. Dumas. And I look forward to further conversations with you. Me too, Percival. Good luck to you. Thank you. And I'll rise from there, and uh, and I'll leave. Yeah, I think like as soon as you get up, like someone is pulling your chair out and offers you your jacket, and and you can hear the ghost pull up to the front door. Hmm. I think as I head out to the car, I pull out my phone mm-hmm. and I send a text to Addison that says, "You were right." And he says, uh, the reply is, now what? We feed a demon. (laughs) Awesome.
Hi, this is Jason from the Gauntlet Gaming Community. If you enjoyed this episode of Comic Strip AP, please consider supporting the Gauntlet on Patreon. Our page can be found at patreon.com forward slash gauntlet.